Hey y'all, this is Jeff with Atlantic Arcade Sales and Service Repair. I'm going to do a quick walkthrough video um, of how to operate this machine. Right now we're in the overall system selection menu. Um, from this menu, we can now select whether we want to play, go all the way back to the golden age of Atari 2600. We can just keep on moving forward, um, different platforms. So as we do, we, we're going to go ahead and settle in on Arcade Classics. Uh, to enter Arcade Classics, we're just going to hit Player 1. Now, this one here being a four-player game, it's going to be different than the other machine. Um, you see we have 1 and 2 here, and that's because there are two-player games. There's regular arcade games in here, and you're going to need to play them on those. When you play four-player games, this is going to be Player 1. This will be player two, this will be player three, this will be player four. And you'll credit them up a little different too. This is how you credit player one I mean, when it's in four player. This is how you'll credit player two. This is how you'll credit player three and four. And I'll go through some more instructions, but when it's in two player, you'll have to credit all of them right here. So that'll credit, which if you're playing, you know, just regular Street Fighter or you know, one of those things, you'll have to credit it right here. Right now, we're gonna play a four player. We don't have to hit that except for if we're going to be player two. So, like I said, we're going to, to load a game. We're going to hit the player one button. This is going to load all your games throughout the system. This is going to pick your uh, what you're going to do throughout. When you load in the game, it's just as if the ROMs were activated in an arcade game. It's going to do the exact same check that it's going to do in the arcade game. Once the arcade game is loaded, like I said, these are going to be how you're going to credit these. So you'll see there's player one's credited up. We'll have to do this with player two. There's player two, three, and four. And then typically you'll just figure out your path for each game. And you can speed these along. Anytime you want to exit a game, it's really simple. We're going to hold down player one. You're either going to hear the action stop or see the action stop, and that's going to be your cue to let up. Just let up. Now you can go right back to this menu, and you can just scroll. What you'll do is you'll take this joystick right here, player one joystick. We're just going to go up and down. You can go one at a time. You can hold it up or down, and it'll, you know, it'll go kind of, kind of faster. You can hold it left or right and it'll go faster so that way you can you know get to your game faster so now we're going to go to a two-player game walk you through that which which the majority of these on here are going to be two player the there's only 80 uh four player games um, so the majority of these are going to be two player um i like to test everything out on the street fighter when i when i show these because it's going to demonstrate all the buttons all the moves and everything else oh oh come on so once again here we are street fighter 3 to enter this we're going to tap player one once again it's going to load just as if you turn on the arcade game and once again this is a two player so we're only going to be using these and they will both be credited right here so we'll just hit, we can load in player one by hitting player one. We can load in player two by hitting player two. And I'm just loading in supers and stuff. I'm just gonna run through all the different punches, different moves on the joystick, demonstrate they're all working. So we got all that once again, but to exit anything, we're just gonna hold down player one to hear things stop. It's gonna take us right back out. We're right back in this menu and you could scroll through. I'm gonna send you a list of the 80 uh, four player games so that you can have a separate list to go through those. Um, let's see here. You've got right down here, you've got a pile amp uh, that controls your volume, your bass, your treble. These are real corn door mechs, even though we're not using them that way. They're real corn doors and mechs. 
So we'll go over to another four player real quick. Once again, to load any game with Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, we'll just tap player one. And it's got Simpsons and, and several other really good four player games. Winners don't do drugs. <laughs> So there we are. And once again, it's going to be the same, just like the X-Men for Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. That's player one. Player two. Player three. Player four. But with the addition of being able to play, this was originally just going to be a solo four-player, but the other games are so popular, we wanted to make it where we could do both, and that's why we have this configuration. Um, so once again, anytime you want to get out, we're going to hold this down. We're back out. And really, that's pretty much it. A couple of main things to note, um, if you see a strange menu come up or something different, this is a small computer-based game. It's a Raspberry Pi 3B+. So all you really got to do is just turn it off and turn it back on. It's going to reset, take right back off. You're not going to have any problems. If you do have any problems or any issues or any questions, don't hesitate. Shoot me a call. Give me a text. 843-450-0171.